Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We're going grocery shopping today and we're doing it all out of order. It's gonna be fantastic. We've got a little Meyer in there. We've got some Sam's Club, Aldi, maybe Walmart, Costco's in there too. So come join the gang, let's go shopping. We've already started the day out crazy like. Had to get my car jumped. Dear old dad came by, jumped the car. Now we're on our way. Come on, coffee's been had, lipstick is on, it's shopping time. Oh, I'm not buying these, but these look good. A pretzel crisp bites, honey mustard. Oh, yum. These are kind of the flat ones, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The original ones are very large, but the little crisp bites are cute and tiny. Um, what do they cost? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they don't say. So it's just whatever your imagination comes up with. Ooh, they have garlic, herb, spicy ranch. That actually might be good. And honey mustard. A couple split tops going in the cart today from the old Miger for $1.95. What? I did not know that Pepperidge Farm Swirl had lemon blueberry flavored bread and strawberry. Did you guys know this? Have you been holding out on me? French toast over here and brown sugar and cinnamon. I've definitely seen the cinnamon bread. Delicious cinnamon in every stick. Oh, slice. Yeah, I thought that didn't make sense. I've seen the raisin one. Okay, okay. You know me and my love for lemon. I can't help myself. Also, if you wonder why my throat is sounding all weird, my voice maybe, I had to leaf blow out the garage because it was crazy. So my dad could pull in up next to us. There was just dust everywhere and it got all in me and choked me up, you know. Why do they gotta have so many yummy things over here? Total cluster fudge, kitchen sink, layer of chocolate fudge brownie, layer of blonde brownie with caramel and topped with M&M candies. Hot blonde, what does that mean? Double layer of French vanilla blonde brownie with caramel and butterscotch crisps. Oh my word, that sounds delicious. It is so brilliant to have these little, what are these hand pies? I mean, really they're just a one person pie. Wild blueberry, cherry, apple, chocolate eclair pie. How much are these? $1.49 if you ever want something like that. Caramel drizzle apple pie. You guys, we have to get out of this section. We're in trouble. Quick, take me to the vegetables and the fruit, quick. Let's grab some sweet corn. That's always tasty. Two for a dollar. We're not in the season of like, you know, cheap, cheap corn, but it's still not bad. Um, maybe I'm gonna go for four of those. I break them in half before I cook them up. Makes them easier. That looks like a good amount. Okay, let's do four. Let me ask you this. Do you put lemon in your water when you're making your corn, when you boil it up? I've seen that you can do that. I don't do that. You know it's a happy day when blackberries are on sale for 99 cents. I'm saving 2.20 by buying them here. Are you kidding me? Sold. Also strawberries here are 99 cents. And I'm kind of thinking these don't look as red and juicy as my heart desires. Now wait a minute, that one kind of does. I really just love Aldi's strawberries, but sometimes you can't pass up a deal. Sometimes you just gotta take one for the team. I'm willing to take it for the team. Okay, two of those 99 cents each couple of broccoli crowns for $1.49 each. Goodness, their plant-based protein area has really been growing. They've got all kinds of like plant-based sausages and Italian sausage over here, burger patties, they've got tofu, kimchi, kraut, oh, lots of kimchi, mother-in-law's kimchi, wow. Veganaise, cauliflower crust. Oh, look how many Olipops they've got. Cream soda, oh my word, I haven't had a cream soda in so long. Orange squeeze, cherry vanilla, ooh. Dr. Goodwin, also known as like Dr. Pepper, but Dr. Goodwin. <laughs> and then lemon lime, oh, there's root beer, cherry cola, vintage cola, strawberry vanilla, classic grape, tropical punch. Then there's all these other ones. Barbie peaches and cream, huh? Ginger ale, watermelon, banana cream. Have you guys tried these? I have not tried an Olipop. Should we try one? What one speaks to us? The cherry vanilla kind of speaks to me. Okay, let's try it. But how am I gonna get it without breaking it? 265. This is 265 for prebiotics, botanicals, plant fiber. All right. The fanciness is out of control over here. Look at these forage kombucha. These are organic raspberry, oh yes, peach, tropical, lemongrass, ginger, margarita, basil, mimosa, strawberry sangria. Have you guys tried those? I've never seen that brand. A little sharp cheddar to add to our life. This is the Meyer brand sharp cheddar for $1.99. It's uh, 30 cents off, nice. My Noli Bear loves her goldfish and we haven't had these colored ones for a while. They're pretty tasty. $9.59 for this box of goodness. 
$3.29 for the pulp free orange juice. This is for some supplements that the kids take in the morning. It just makes it taste better, so they don't get very much of it, but um, we need it. $3.29. I want to try this one. I like Siete. Uh, this brand is great, and this is a taco seasoning in mild. Paleo, preservative free, pear with ground protein, veggies, or potato. $1.99 right now. It's 70 cents off. Let's just give it a try, huh? You know how I am about my labels. I just walked by this. It said hot mess. <laughs> That's the flavor on that one. Okay. Raise your snack standards with hot mess. Okay. Have you heard of this chip magnet? I have not. I feel like I'm just living a whole new world over here today. Joey Bear wants a couple of ramen, chicken flavored, of course. Right now it's eight for $2. We don't need to go that crazy. We're just gonna get two of them there, about 39 cents each. Can I just say how much I missed shopping at Meyer? Oh, I love it. I don't come here very much anymore, but I love it. It is May 2024 and I'm buying stovetop stuffing for $2.59, just one. For my sourdough, we are out of whole wheat flour, $6.19. The price is really just gone right up there. It's gross, but um, it makes it so good. This right here is the real reason I came here. Buy one, get one 40% off. This is the Ultra Laundry Detergent Free and Clear. I just love it. It's better than the Sam's Club brand to me. I don't know why. $16.99, then I get one, 40% off, so I'm gonna get two. Oh my word, I've seen this thing around and I'm kind of thinking that I want it, but the price on that is not correct because that is for the Swiffer duster. Okay, let's check some pricing on this. So I just have some areas in like showers and stuff that this would probably make it a bit easier to clean and reach. Hmm, go cordless, power up your cleaning routine. Let's see how much she is. I looked it up. It's not giving me anything. It's saying that it can't read the USP, UPS, elemental P code, whatever that is on the bottom. They can't read it. And then when I look it up on the app, it's not popping up. So this is just like a magical thing. So when I go to checkout, if it's a million dollars, like I'll put it back. But if it's, you know, an appropriate amount, well, it's mine. How many of you are interested in recycled bath tissue? Is that a thing? <laughs> what is it being recycled from? I don't know. It's a little bit scary though. Little bit, I'm gonna keep walking. What spring scents does Mrs. Myers have? I love Mrs. Myers. Tomato vine? What? Fresh cut grass, dandelion scent. They have a daisy one that I think is lovely. Oh, there it is, daisy. I like rose, I like lilac. It's very lilac-y. Why do I feel the need to smell this here tomato vine one? Okay, I'll do it. You know, it kind of just smells like lemongrass. It smells nice. It doesn't smell like a tomato vine though. Fresh cut grass. It doesn't necessarily smell like fresh cut grass, but it smells really nice, really fresh and springy. I stay away from the dish soap one though. I love it, but I've noticed that when I do it, we have kind of a funny piping. It's really long. And even though we try not to put things down the drain that shouldn't go down, when I use this, because it doesn't really have that same grease fighting powers like a Dawn, it tends to keep our drains clogged up. We've spent several hundred dollars getting our drains unclogged. And when I use Dawn dish soap, we have no problems. When I go back to this, after you know a little while, a month or two, we start having problems again. It could just be a coincidence, but I'm not willing to continue to take that coincidence. You know what I'm saying? But I love the hand soaps. I love the kitchen spray stuff or like the counter spray stuff. I love that stuff. They also have like room scent and those are nice too. Couple of yogurts going in. We're gonna do the vanilla from Meyer for two sixty-five. Um, we weren't big fans of the strawberry one. It had chunks in it, even though it says it's blended. If I remember correctly, that was the one we didn't prefer. So we'll go for the Yo Place Smooth Style Strawberry for three thirty-nine. What do we have over here? Oh my word! A salt and pepper shaker. That's like a hot dog and a bun. That. <laughs> That really makes me happy. And then you can do it, what is that, a grill and a burger? Cute. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a butter dish, but it's a hot dog. Okay, and then you can get yourself a hot dog mug or a burger mug. When this works out, this is exactly what I'm looking for, six cube ice tray. I'm going to put lemon juice in these, freeze them, and then when we want lemonade, it'll be really easy, and I never have to worry about, you know, keeping my act together and squeezing those lemons in time. It happens to us all, $3.99. Four of those, I think, are gonna work great. I don't wanna use my regular ice trays because I don't know if it's gonna keep a lemony flavor or not, even if you wash them. So let's just be safe and use those. 
Oh, also cute. You can get your ice cream in one of these fun ice cream cups. <gasps> cute, and a mug. Okay, okay, summer loving had me a blast. Come on now. We need some carpet cleaner. These seem three times more active ingredients, and this one's four times more. Well, hot diggity dog. I, I think I'm gonna do one of these, guys. $20.99, it's on sale. Three bucks off, I'm not mad about that. I'm kind of loving that this one has a lemon eucalyptus scent to it. Hmm, I don't know though. You know what, we're gonna stick with what we know for right now, and then we'll try these other ones another day, another dollar, okay? Stop, look how cute this is. You can have a sloth brewing your tea. How many of you are tea drinkers and you like to put the leaves in yourself and just have a nice tea infuser in your life? You can do a sloth or a koala. He is very happy and he is very cute. And a manatee. Barbara, manatee, manatee. You are the one for me. How about a new kitchen towel? Happy campers have some more fun. <laughs> Let's get toasted. What is that supposed to mean? Wild and free. Let's go camping. How many of you are campers? RVers? How many of you? I wanna know about it. Oh my word. We've got the bear now doing s'mores. Well, that just dills my pickle. Happy chips and guac? Happy is chips and guac. Yeah, I agree with that. Guac on, dude, yeah. <laughs> I love these little towels. I think we're done here at Meyer. Let's go check out. I'll give you the total and then we'll move on to the next. Gotta say hi to Sandy when you come in. Have a nice little ride on Sandy. Okay, this guy, this ca Casabella was $49.99. <laughs> I don't know, I might, well, we'll just see. I kind of feel like that's a lot, but yet I kind of want to try it. So I don't know if I made a good decision or not, but we've got the cold things in here with a big old cold pack, it's huge. And I think we're gonna head over to Aldi next. We're doing today so out of order. It's good for us though. Sometimes you gotta switch it up, right? By the way, total was 166, so um, that's the start of this exciting adventure. Now, onward. I wasn't gonna show you this, but you know, I just can't help myself. So I stopped at the Target and I got a couple things. These are like, I call them work shirts. So I needed work shirts, okay, for when I'm working. Isn't this lovely? Doesn't that make me look just fresh and tan and summery? I love it. It is like three quarter length sleeve-ish. Maybe that would go to the wrist, but you know, I've got long go-go gadget arms, so I don't know. Um, but this one was, how much? This one was 20, not bad. I also have to add to my button-up collection because I'm crazy and I just love button-ups. They just work so well, even in hotter times, sometimes you can wear one because they're kind of loose and fresh, you know, not when it's like, you know, 90 degrees outside, but it's gonna get there today. This guy was on half off before I even went anywhere. Originally 25 and I got it for 12.50. Ain't nobody mad about that. And then because it is getting quite warm out these days, I also got like this pretty tank top. What color is this? It says pink. It's got a little coraliness to it, but pink is just something I adore. And this one was $18. Also, I brought, I bought the wrong kind of bronzer. Well, it's the bronzer I've always used, but clearly it's not because it was just a lot of sparkle and not a lot of bronzing. So I went back to the one that I really do love, Hula from Benefit. I used to use this one a long, long time ago and hadn't in a while because I was getting just the cheapy McCheapers in. And then I thought, you know what, let's just... Let's just get what we like today. So I done did that. My total was like something around $94 for the shirts and the uh, bronzer. Now we're going to go to Aldi. Like I told you, I'm not getting too many things there. Um, just a couple, but then we're gonna end up at a little Costco, just slip that right into the mix and then a little bit of time at the Sam's Club. You ready? And if you get worried, Megan, you go to too many stores, too many places, you're wasting a lot of gas. I'm really not. They're all very close to each other, minus Costco, but that was done on a different day at a different time. Also, I have a watch now that keeps track of my steps. I've already gotten in 2,250 steps and it's just early morning. So I don't know, I call it a win. All right, no, come on, stop talking, let's go. Oh, these green beans are beautiful. Way to go, Aldi, check that out. We need green beans, did I tell you that? We're getting them. Some beautiful. 
wonderful savings going on on the organic family packs of the ground beef. So this is 85.15, love it, 100% grass fed, and it is no antibiotics, no growth hormones, not GMO, it's really just good stuff, 16.99 right now, it's cheaper than Sam's Club for the same count, and I think theirs is organic, I can't be for sure, but all I know is I'm saving some monies and getting something that we enjoy. This is a great deal. Deep hopes that from a couple weeks ago they still had their laundry baskets. They're so good, you guys, and I just needed some more. But they're all gone. They've all been bought. My heart is so sad. Whenever Aldi gets in their laundry baskets, it's like once a year you gotta just get on them as soon as possible. And they're inexpensive and they're sturdy and they're not here. Wah. If you've hung around long enough, you know that we make pico de gallo like all day, every day. And I love the big bag of the jalapenos. I did something wonderful that was so helpful. I chopped them up and put it in the freezer. Then when I want to make pico de gallo, I just shake a couple in there. It takes no time at all for it to defrost with the fresh tomatoes. And then you've got easy peasy lemon squeezy, nothing goes bad. It's just brilliant. So 45 cents for this guy, not bad. Aldi is done guys and we spent $19.38. So just the beef and the green beans and the uh, jalapenos. Stick them into our cold pack here. By the way, I get these off Amazon if you're interested. They're great. They have this really large one. They've got the small ones. You can bring your own packs. They stay insulated, so that's really nice. And especially as the temperatures are getting warmer, you don't want your food going all yucky, right? I can't do this one-handed, so let me show you Costco, and then we'll pop over to Sam's. We're of course getting some Barilla, six boxes of it, the multi-variety pack, $7.49, best price in town, and I'm glad I'm getting it, because we've run out, and that's unacceptable. I just love beets so much. These are the whole peeled and cooked organic beets from Beetology. There's a three-pack in there, so you don't have to like commit to the whole thing right away, and all it is is beets, you guys. Look at that organic red beets that's all it is but it's already been done the whole thing's been taken care of 6.99 for that guy he's going in my cart do not judge me for the thing that i'm about to buy okay it's been two seconds since my last confession yes we're buying pop tarts today okay we're gonna get the variety pack 24 frosted brown sugar and cinnamon 24 strawberry they're 9.99 that's quite a savings over sam's club so that's why we're getting them here today sometimes you just need something quick and easy okay okay my goodness, I'm saving nearly $2 by buying these mandarin oranges here at Costco instead of at Sam's Club. I can't believe it. Five pounds for $5.99. I have plans to put these in a little bowl on the edge of the counter, and it's going to make everybody want them. We need you to be wanted, okay? So you're sitting on the edge of the counter. That's your spot. Okay, I think that's the one. Folks, this is quite a piddly amount of things for our grocery haul. Four things? Well, I already had to come to Costco, so it made sense to do it, but... Let's go check out and I will get you a total. $30.79 was the total for my wonderful little items there, the four of them at Costco. We have other places to go though, so don't you worry, more food is coming at you, plus maybe some non-food items as well, because that's just how I roll. Also, I'm gonna eat up uh, a lot of baguette right now. Panera baguettes are just good, okay? Okay. My kids have been asking for Haribo gummy bears, guys, and they don't have the big bag of them, but they do have these, the red, white, and blue. So I thought because I love them so much, I'll get it for them and probably I'll have some too. $13.68 for the bag. You get 125 bags in there. Nice. My sister-in-law brought some veggie straws over the other day to share with the kids while we were on our anniversary dinner and um, they really loved them. They're all gone because there wasn't a whole lot, but why don't we just, you know, stock them up with some for $7.48. And we are gonna get some of the Skinny Pop popcorn. This is $6.58. It is a busy place around here, so kind of noisy, but listen close, and we will get ourselves some lemons. These are three pounds of lemons. Since we have the ice trays, let's get two. That way we're like super, super prepared. $3.98. And then banana time. Oh, the bananas. Did you know that if you leave them on the corner of the counter, that your family is more likely to eat them? Um, that banana looks like it had a little spill. No, thank you. Oh, she looks pretty. That's the one. My favorite ground turkey, Jenny O, 93.7 on this one. You get five pounds of it, and it is $15.92. Best price in town. Chicken breasts. Okay, these are going for $3.88 a pound, and I just want to get one of these guys. They freeze up so nicely. They cook up even better. It's good. 
Marv is stuck because it's so busy. Oh, hi, Marv. We're getting too up close and personal, aren't we? May the 4th be with you. This was um, process on the 4th, which is today, by the way. Hoagie rolls, 18 of them, six ninety eight. Frosted Flakes, seven eighty eight. Two bags in the box, and they're great. No flowers today, but I thought we could look at them for a second. Actually, the orange roses are really beautiful. Hmm. Hmm. No. We just need to say no right now. I don't know why, but we do. So we're going to. 7.48 for the Reese's Puffs. And we're gonna do Cocoa Pebbles. They're $1.50 off, $5.28. I know this seems like a lot, it's cause it is, but there's a lot of people. When I was checking my list, you know, checking it twice, I saw, I forgot like a whole bunch of stuff over here in produce. The Little Potato Company, these are cute. They're so easy to cook with. Parboil them and you can skewer them and you can just eat them with rosemary or salt, pepper and olive oil. You can, you can do so many things. I'm gonna be putting them on a skewer with some veggies and I just, I'm really looking forward to it. 668. And then some fresh cucumbers for 388. I say fresh because the ones at home, I'm a little scared. I'm hoping they're still good, but I need to get back up. You'll never believe it. I'm buying romaine hearts for 78 for this one. Sam's Club is done. 110 was my total over there. I think we really got all the things that we need. Make sure you come back this week. I'll be showing you how we're using up our food what we're doing with it all. That'll be a good one. And um, I think I'm gonna head home, folks. I didn't total things up for you because my brain is just not totaling today. But you have an amazing day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys really soon. You come on back now, you're here. All right.